Hey there, my name's Luke. I'm a musician here in Nashville, and um, today I just want to talk a little bit about um, using etudes as a tool to help um, basically navigate and improvise through a song, whether it be a pretty simple tune or a difficult tune that has a lot going on, like Giant Steps. Um, this first kind of came to me uh, this past semester where my uh, professor recommended that I write out my own etudes for this song. <clears throat> and etudes essentially are just studies, just another word for study. And so what I did is I wrote out one etude um, for each chorus of the song. And uh, basically with each etude, I, I specific, specifically focused on one uh, type of tool that I could use for improvisation. So for example, the, uh, the first tool that I used is one, two, three, five, um, I guess you could say like licks or way to navigate <clears throat> the song. So for example, starting on the first chord here in the tune, B major seven. So you have the, the one, one, two, the second of that chord, the major third to the fifth. Basically, I just went through that whole etude only using that. really that helped me get used to the chord changes there getting that really under my fingers and really helping me master using one two three five sequences to navigate a tune so for that second chord it's a dominant chord and so nothing really changes in terms of the pattern from the major to the dominant because it's only one two three five there's no seven in it same for the next chord. And then for uh, the last chord here, so for that E flat major seven, I use this little, I guess, sequence, I could call it, or a tool um, that basically just varies up the one, two, three, five sequence. So again, it's very heavy, one, two, three, five. And then I used another tool that I learned this past semester. It's kind of like a Pat Metheny-ism, um, essentially using chromaticisms on the off beats and then using certain extensions on the down beats. So for example, for this E flat major seven chord that I'm targeting, I am basically going off of the major third of a chromatic passing tone to the ninth and ending up on that ninth. And then that's how I decided to start the next uh, section of the song. Um, and then again launching myself into those one, two, three, five patterns. So yeah, for that first etude, just all, basically all of it is one, two, three, fives. Um, and then the second etude I wrote is all just arpeggios. So targeting the key notes of each chord, the, f the one, three, five, and the seven. So whatever qualities it is. So for example, this first major seven chord obviously is gonna have one, three, five, and the major seven compared to the E flat. <coughs> Excuse me. Compare that to the D, uh, the D7 um, that has one, three, five, flat seven. So when I started my off my solo, I decided to descend from the root up here to the seven, five, to three, because I think it voice leads really well to 
voice leads really well to this D7. Going to that G major 7. To that uh, B, B flat 7. And so on and so on. And so basically, each of these etudes really helps me hone in on one specific tool and really mastering that tool in terms of improvisation. So for the examples I gave are one, two, three, five licks, and then using arpeggios to navigate the solo. And um, so from those two arpe or two etudes, excuse me, being able to focus on each aspect of how I could improvise really helps me master it, but then also really helps me understand the changes and what's going on. And um, my third, I guess, chorus of soloing at the beginning there was kind of a combination of all the different things I learned. So just an alternation of uh, one, two, three, five at the beginning. Arpeggio. And then using kind of that Pat Metheneism of using chromatic passing notes and outlining the extensions. really combining both of those etudes together to create one solo at the end there. Um, again, this is a new way of approaching music for me. Um, I'm more of a, I have more of a classical background, so I'm not super, uh, uh, I guess, not a super extensive background when it comes to improvising. And so I found this tool to be really helpful, helping me navigate the changes, being able to really solidify these tools. And um, I just wanted to share what I've learned with you guys. and Hopefully this is helpful. Um, yeah, so uh, I really appreciate y'all tuning in. Plan on getting back in the rhythm of uploading videos here now that uh, finals are over for me. So I'll be preparing to release a lot of other material this summer uh, that hopefully you guys find enjoyable and helpful. Alrighty, well thank you for tuning in. I'll catch you in the next video.